Might be a mistake. Mistake was made! I don't know where to hide! I don't know where to hide! Becky, get out of here! I know it's not October yet, but it's close enough. <laughs> Spooky season is coming and I'm getting a head start by playing this super cute, but super creepy game that I found and have been dying to play. There's a pun there. Noctambulant. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that, Noctambulant. Which actually I Googled and means sleepwalking or having to do with sleepwalking. Foreshadowing? Don't know. This game reminds me a lot of Mr. Hop's Playhouse, which you guys loved both games of, and I did too, so I figured we had to play this on the channel too. Plus, I'm just in a spooky mood this week. This is a weird intro screen. I feel like something is walking toward me. I'm already scared by the intro screen. Oh god. Oh. Okay. And also, I know a lot of you are fans of anime, and this is illustrated in an anime style. I swear, anime has the creepiest, creepy things, though. <laughs> Look how cute! Oh, I told you, the artwork for this is so cute, but it is a friggin' scary game. So just get ready. Should I try to do a little girl voice? It's gonna make it creepier. My name is Renee. I lived happily with mommy and daddy. I love toys, all kinds of them. See, I told you it's like Mr. Hops. Aww. On my birthday, mommy made a doll just for me. I hug it every night to sleep. I love the doll so much, and I love mommy and daddy so much. But something happened. Something really, really bad. The very next day, there was what they called a funeral. Oh no. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, oh, hi, Grandma. Why are you putting your bosoms in my face? The only person at the funeral was an old lady. Why? Did nobody like your parents? She said she was my grandma and that mommy and daddy had passed away. Grandma said that I had to move in with her and we were on a car to her house right after the funeral. I only had the doll with me. I had lost everything else. Oh, that's so sad. Mommy and daddy were gone. Grandma's house was big. I was given new clothes, lots of toys and dolls in my own doll room. Ooh. Everything I couldn't have before. And it has been six months since. Oh, see, I told you the artwork's so freaking cute. Don't you worry, little angel. Soon I will find your other wing and you will be able to fly again. Oh, we lost your wing. <gasps> Renee. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. Time for bed. I don't know what voice this is. <clears throat> it's just so, it's just silence right now in this game. <laughs> Pack up your toys and hurry to your room. Yes, Grandma. Every day, Grandma makes me go to bed early and locks the door shut. I don't understand that. Okay, what am I doing? Leave it. You will always be loved. Oh, this is so sad. It's that dream again. I can't sleep. Now that I think of it, I didn't hear any locking sounds. Did Grandma not lock the door today? Grandma's been coughing a lot today. Is Grandma feeling unwell? Uh, I'll check if the door is really locked. Maybe I can go back to the doll room to play. Room of mirrors. Yeah, let's go there. <laughs> Wall of mirrors? Or room of mirrors, I mean? Someone's bedroom. This is weird. I thought this was the room of mirrors. Purple bottle. So I have to find one of these light up things above me to hide. Got it. <laughs> what could grandma be doing this late at night? Should I go in? I'm scared. Oh, what is that on the floor? Did grandma drop that? Grandma's torn note. An offering for the three dolls. One drop of blue, one drop of red, one drop of yellow, one drop of purple. They'd give the big shelf in the living room a knock. What, grandma? Oh my God, what? Help, oh, I can move. Oh God, grandma, grandma. <gasps> this thing's gonna run after me, isn't it? Becky? Who's Becky? Ah! Ah! Yes! Okay. Oh my God, oh, it's chasing after me. Ah, oh, 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 oh. I'm dead. It chomped away my heart. Wait, what? Now I'm in the storage room. What just happened? A blue bottle. Oh, okay, so there's the purple, the blue. How do I grab it though? Okay, so the storeroom's the blue. Maybe I need something to put the drops in? Oh, <gasps> I found something to put a drop in. Where do I put the colors though? Okay, so can I take this? Yay, figured it out. Whoops. You ever just put so much liquid in a glass that it just, you know, shatters? I hope there's another one. Can I get another one? I don't think I'll. Okay. What do I do with this, though? 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh! It can just show up randomly with no warning? Get out of here! Okay, where'd it go? Oh god. Oh! Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? I just want to leave, please. Just want to leave. Can I finally go in here? Are you friggin' kidding me? Book of Colored Spirits. Once upon a time, there lived a sorcerer. He practiced a dark and uncommon magic and all the people in the village avoided him. He was lonely and sad, moved to live alone by a hillside. Okay. Three curious girls, Lala, Lulu, and Lily, decided to leave their home to go up to a mysterious pink mountain. The path up the mountain was fun. Do I need to know these? Hmm, I feel like there's something in here because it says middle, right. Straight, middle, right, straight. What are these creepy freaking dolls down here? Ooh! Go, 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 go! Someone's back. Okay, that's where the purple is. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm hiding, I'm hiding, I'm hiding, I'm hiding! I'm hiding! Oh, thank god. Ooh, go away. Okay, so it says two drops of blue. Okay, no more. I don't know what to where to put this though, so I'm just gonna run around with it and hopefully not run into that thing. It has to go here though, because this is the only thing that lights up. Oh my god. Oh, oh, maybe I have to okay. Oh, an offering for three dolls. Oh my god, the three dolls are right there. Alright, let's start this again. So we gotta do two blue and then find the green one. We are gonna figure this out. Ooh, red. What do we need to do next? Green. Red. Oh god, I feel like I should have read the books. Probably should have read the books. Probably had the answer. Ooh. Wait a minute, there's somebody in the shower. Grandma? You won't let me do anything. Grandma? That's creepy. But there's a glass with blue. Wait, but I already got the blue. I feel like something... I'm missing something. Oh god. Oh god! I don't know where to hide! I don't know where to hide! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Oh god, she's coming in. I'm reading a book, though. I'm reading a book. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <gasps> I'm reading a book, I'm reading a book, I'm reading a book. Yeah, so these are the colors. Okay. Create five colored bottles and hurriedly place them in different... What? The blue spirit is in the red bottle. Oh. Oh my god. Let me write this down. That's why the red bottle had the blue glass next to it. Okay, so because we need blue first, we need the red bottle. Living room. Okay, so the red has blue. So we need two blue. I think I need it all together. So two... <gasps> oh my god, that's so dumb. Oh my god. Why is that right there? <laughs> okay, so I accidentally closed out of this game twice and I realized that the, uh, what they need changes every time you log in and out of this game. So now we need one drop of blue, just in case people were confused. So blue is in the red bottle, which is in the living room. Okay, we're, we're going about this the right way this time. I also have all my hearts now because I started over. Not on purpose. So we just need one drop of blue. Okay, here we go. One. Now we need green, or we need the color green. This is gonna confuse the heck out of me. Color green is in the purple bottle, which we know is in someone's room. One. Oh, and that was the color green. Okay, good, we're good. Okay, so now I need two drops of purple, which is in the blue bottle. Purple, yes. One drop of yellow, which is in the green bottle, which we haven't found yet. I bet you in the it's in the mirror room area. This might be a mistake. Mistake was made! Okay, room of mirror, keep going. Oh God, this room is horrifying. Okay, green bottle, yes, one drop yellow. Okay, that should be good, right? This is such a scary room, why does this exist? Okay, now we have to get back to the dining room. We haven't even been to the attic. That's not happening yet. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Yes! Oh crap, I forgot what it said. I thought it said the one in the middle looks to the right. I don't know! I don't know if I mess this up if it takes away my, my mug. <laughs> Oh god, no time! Yeah, it didn't say anything about the dolls though. Then it just says, give a big knock on the living room shelf. I mean, technically, I could just let Becky get me. Becky with the good hair. <laughs> I don't know if that's the doll's name, we're just going with Becky. Knock on it, knock on it. <gasps> yes, we did it! I don't know if the doll's eyes mattered. Oh my god, apparently they do. Ah! 
Ah! Well, I know this is correct because otherwise it would have shattered. Let's go see this freaking book. Let's go see this freaking book. I think it's in here. So it's middle, right, straight. Middle, right, straight. It's either like the eyes are center, right, center. Or, cause it says Lulu who was right in the middle. So she was in the middle, then reached out her right arm to pull Lala. Okay, so Lala is to her right. Reaching out her left arm. Okay, so Lily is to the left. Lulu, who's in the center, eyes would be to the right. And Lily was looking straight. I think it's still middle, right, middle. Metal, right, metal. Are you kidding me? I do! I can't. Okay, so I was doing my directions. So it, she's looking to her right, not my right. Looking to her left, not my left. And then that should be straight ahead. Thank friggin' God. Why? Oh no. Pa Why is there a secret passage in the house? Ah! <laughs> Oh, it would have been so bad. How can you attack me while we're having dialogue in the game? Oh God. Saved. Thank God. The Lord. Okay. Ah! I'm telling you, this is like Mr. Hobbs because later in the game, they all become giants. What is this? A basement map. So we gotta keep going to the right. A pretty looking hand mirror that was broken by Renee. Her grandmother took it away thereafter. I don't like mirrors. Hmm. Why is that? Oh my God. Ah! I was not expecting this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, what did I just do? Okay. Ah, there's some trickery afoot. Ugh, they followed me with their eyes. Thank you. I'm literally just hitting rent. Oh, this one's open. I think this is a new one. <gasps> it's a new one. What's this thing? Please don't murder me. What is this place, Grandma? What do I do with these? Do I have to just plug them in? Like. Ah. of the awakening chapter two possessed often residing in objects that belong to the family will be cursed to only walk at night guarding the residents of its own family they're referred to as noctambulant spirits oh my god if an outsider is seen in possession of anything that belongs to the family or have invaded into the premises it will do whatever means to remove them i'm an outsider wait a few case studies have been collected in relation to noctambulant spirits there's something else in the box a diamond shaped charm, this charm and the book. I've seen them before. The book was in mommy's study room and the charm was illustrated in the book too. We saw those feet earlier. I didn't want to remember that again. From what is written in the book, Becky is possessed by something to protect its family. Oh, it is Becky. Stupid Becky. This is only the second part. Where is the first? Perhaps grandma knows about it. After all, it's all hidden here in the secret basement. Maybe I can find more answers in grandma's room. All right, are we going going back to grandma's room? How we, oh God. So someone's bedroom is someone grandma? We don't know, we don't know who grandma is. She's someone. Ah, ah! She was just standing in front of the door. Becky, get out of here. Is this not grandma's room? Maybe the attic. Grandma lives in the attic? Ooh. Well, this can't be good. Grandma climbs up this ladder every night. What is this? Chapter one, creation of a voodoo doll, otherwise known as the act of voodoo, is curse one performs to disrupt the natural flow of life. A ritual sought after by many, voodoo is believed to have the power to bring one back from the dead. Voodoo requires a body for the spirit to return to and a human medium to act as a pathway for the dead spirit to return back to the human realm. The human medium is to also create an object of personal attachment to direct the spirit's memory to it. From a few case studies, it is also noted that the ones brought back to life are never truly the same again. So after bringing one back in a different form, the user gets cursed to become a noctambulant spirit after they die. What? Did grandma die? Did grandma die and then become this doll? But why is she attacking me then? No, grandma's asleep over here. Grandma's diary. Carrie is still extremely distraught from the incident. It has been a whole year and even I cannot say I am not still very much affected by the loss of my very own granddaughter. Wait. <laughs> what? I thought I was her granddaughter. Who's Carrie? Nedrick looks very stressed whenever I go over, so I'm trying to give them space. Wait, am I dead? Me? Renee? <laughs> Everything happened way too fast. The news of the passing of my daughter and my son-in-law arrived just before dawn. That was not the only thing that I was informed of. I was told to fetch their child, my granddaughter, as I am the only next of kin left. How? 
I am still unable to come to terms with what is happening. I have fetched my granddaughter. It was my little Renee indeed. But at the same time, it did not seem to be her. She did not recognize me, and I can only play along until I find out everything about this. My dear Carrie, what on earth happened? I cannot believe my daughter is gone just like this. Last night, something very, very unusual happened. I had gifted Renee a lot of dolls, seeing how much she liked them. But when I went out for a glass of water, one of the bigger dolls was walking around. However, it did not do anything to me. Regardless, this is too strange. I have to keep Renee to her bedroom at night until I find out about everything. The police arrived today. They are here to return to me the remaining properties they had taken from Carrie and Nedrick's household for investigation. One of them was an old red book with parts of it torn out. After reading it tonight, I found out that the doll was Carrie. My beloved daughter, she is still here. I have also found out why my granddaughter is alive now. What is happening? <laughs> Hold on, I'll finish reading and then I'll try to piece this puzzle together. Carrie did something unforgivable. Oh, how much pain she must be going through to resort to this. I still have to keep Renee in her room until I find the remaining sections of the book. I will have to look through the book again. So it is true that Becky is mommy, but she keeps trying to go after me. So I'm an outsider, so what am I? Wait, so she died and then her mom reincarnated her and then her mom died and became this noctambulant doll? I'm so confused. Becky is mommy and grandma knew all along. Is that why she kept Becky around? But why does she still have me here? Even though she knows that I'm not her real granddaughter. Even though I'm an outsider. Oh, so we reincarnated her, but she's not the same person, is what the book was saying. So the mom doll knows this and keeps going after her? Oh, the gra grandma's awake. I'm not supposed to be out of my room this late. I need to get back to my room before grandma wakes up. Oh God, something is coming. I need to hide. <gasps> Jesus, Grandma! Grandma! Oh, we finally get to see Grandma. Renee, what are you doing under the bed? <laughs> I, I, you <laughs> haven't left your room, have you? No, I was here all the while. I, I was just feeling afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, my sweet little girl. Is that really true, Grandma? Are you telling me the truth, Grandma? Of course, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. <laughs> Did you really not leave your room, Renee? I, I did not. All right then. <clears throat> Grandma's feeling a little under the weather, so I must be muddle-headed. I'll be headed back to bed. You should go back to sleep too. Wait, Grandma? What is it, Renee? Do you think I am loved? Of course, my sweet little girl. Why are you asking such silly questions? All right, good night, Grandma. Good night. Mommy chased me. Because I am an outsider and grandma came here so quickly, she must have not been chased because they are family and I'm not. Grandma lied. Oh, is this gonna give me a different ending? She doesn't see me as her family. After all, it is all my fault. Mommy will not attack anything she sees as family. So if I wasn't around, everyone will be happy and grandma will be happy too. That torn section of the book that grandma didn't have, I know where it is. I knew all along. I need to get to the playroom. What? Oh no, now I'm gonna need to know what happens if you press the other two answers. <gasps> oh, it's in the doll. Chapter three. To release the trapped noctambulant spirit, simply soak the charm in unclean water thoroughly. Water turns unclean when touched by other spirits. When the incantations on the charm are smudged and corrupted, the charm will then be needed to be placed anywhere on the object in which the soul is trapped and the ritual is complete. It is noted that the water used to soak the charm will start to corrupt. It starts the moment it comes into contact with the charm and is extremely dangerous for humans. Saturate the water with salt and dispose of it after the ritual is done. <laughs> okay. Unclean water. Where can I find water? Oh, this is the sparkly bathroom. <gasps> Finally, yes, yes. The once lifeless paper charm now, after being soaked in the bathtub, gives off an ominous energy, not to give, but to take away. What am I doing? What's happening? Now it is all over. Nobody will be troubled anymore. Oh no, oh no. On that day, I found out about something I should never have. Mother's study room, filled with notes and studies on how to get back her daughter. Father saw me. He was never really happy whenever he saw me, but I never expected that he thought that of me all this time. 
You are not my daughter. Those words pierced me, hitting somewhere in a void inside me I never knew existed. I had to do what had to be done, but I knew at the back of my head that nothing in this world was meant for me. Did she kill her dad? Not parents, not love, not the name, not the toys. It was meant for Renee. Ooh. Ooh. And that's why I deserve to have everything taken away from me. That's so sad. So the like new spirit that was in the body of Renee felt like she should just like end it with the ritual paper being on her forehead because all the love and dolls and everything she was getting from the grandma and her parents weren't meant for her. They were meant for Renee, but she's not really Renee. I think there's different endings. Yeah, so there's three endings because of those three choices. So let's see, let's see what the other two are. Okay, so the only way to get these other endings is to legit play through the whole game again. So, because I don't have another three hours to go through that, I found it on YouTube. All right, so we did the first one. So this is the second one. Grandma knew about me all this time, but she allowed me to be here. She locked me up in the room every night to keep me safe. How could I have doubted her? Mommy told me too that I am always family and always loved. And what I need to do now is to believe in them and not make grandma troubled anymore. That torn section of the book that grandma didn't have. I know where it is. I knew all along. Okay, so that part is the same. Okay, so she still puts the charm in. Now I just need to go back to the doll room and wait for Becky. Okay, so this is different. Oh, Becky's in there. So she's gonna help release Becky. I'm sorry, mommy. Oh my god, this is sad too! I have done it. On that day, I found out about something I should never have. Mother's study room filled with notes- Ah, uh, this is the same. The book had all the information. Ones that will take everything from me. I was so scared that would happen. I had to do what had to be done. And so I hid it in something precious. I brought it everywhere with me. Even back at the funeral, I was hurt and scared. I had to keep the doll with me just in case. Renee, let's go home. Those kind words of grandma, they warmed me up. It was foolish of me to be held up by silly thoughts. Mommy and now grandma, they care about me and I have to do this for them. I always hated mirrors because they reminded me of what I am not, but now I'm not afraid anymore. It's a new morning and a new beginning. This is the real beginning. Oh, that was a happier ending than the first. Okay, there's one more. She's hiding something. Not telling me about mommy and keeping everything in the secret basement. She must be planning something. Otherwise she wouldn't lie like that. Does grandma not want me to? I just wanted a family to be loved. I want to be with my family. I have to do something. Mommy is doing all this because she wants to protect her family. What can I do to make her not do that? I have to get to my playroom. Oh no. I feel like this is a dark ending. I feel like the one I got was a neutral one. Then the other one's the good ending and this is the bad ending. I'm kind of scared. I'm being chased because this belongs to the family. So I need to get rid of this doll. Maybe I can burn it? Oh no. Well, this is, this is totally different. And she's going to get glass for some reason? What? Oh yeah, we're burning the doll. Now I need to soak the charm in water. Okay, doing this again. The charm is sinking to the bottom. The water is turning red and it looks like blood. Now that the water is corrupted, I just need a cup. Oh God, what are you gonna do with the water? Now to grandma's room. Oh no, and all this will go away. Oh no, what are you gonna do to grandma? What are you gonna do to grandma? Oh, she's sneaking into grandma's room. She's sneaking in. Oh, we just killed grandma. Oh, she just killed grandma. Thud. <laughs> oh no, I have succeeded. Damn, this is the dark end. Now nobody can harm me. Nobody can stop me from what I deserve. On that day, I found out about something I should never have. Mother's study room filled with notes and studies on how to get back her daughter. Daddy went out of room. The two of them are shouting again in the living room and then they go away back to their room. The usual thing, except this time I knew why. They got strangely quiet after a while. I don't usually peek because I was scared, but that time I knew instantly what to do. The book had all the information, ones that will take everything from me. I was so scared that would happen. So is this the full story now? I had to do what had to be done. So her parents killed each other or, or themselves or, and then she took the pages out of the book? Mommy, daddy, let's always be together. Oh my God, we will always be family. The dad was that thing that moved in the basement, I think. All right, well, that was Noctambulant. I'm glad that I got to see all the different endings because it kind of pieced together the full story. But yeah, I guess let me know in the comments below which ending was your favorite. I'm kind of a fan of dark endings, so that might be my 
my favorite. But as always, if you made it this far in the video, make sure you let me know by leaving a like before you go. And also, if you're looking for something else to watch now, why not check out one of these videos? There's also a subscribe button right there. It's totally free and I make lots of spooky videos, especially with October coming. So make sure you stick around if you like creepy spooky things, my specialty. And as always, I will Z you guys soon.